Uh, we are the frumpy transvestite end of the transvestite <laughs> market. <laughs> it's, uh, I've just done a documentary on genetics, and there's, there's, a, there's a girly gene out there which some women have, and male transvestites have, straight transvestites have. I don't know gay transvestites, I don't know whether it's built in or something, but it's the girly bit. So that's it, but it's a difficult look, and also there's, I got a whole bunch of boy stuff, I got all the boy stuff. I used to think I was half boy, half girl. And, but I've got all the boy stuff going on. So I was wanting to be in the army. I was loved football, which you call helicopters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, lived for being in the first team in soccer and uh, and running, jumping, climbing trees. That was it. I said that in Dress to Kill and, and stuff. So um, so all that boy stuff, except for the drinking, lots of drink and then throwing up. I didn't have that bit, but everything else, all those other bits I had, um, plus the girly thing. So. Once I'd established it, um, I, 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 was a, I was a rising stand-up, just looking like this, without any painted nails, and then I thought, I've got to, it's taking off, I can feel it taking off, I've got to tell them I'm a transvestite. I told everyone except my dad, I thought, right, because everyone said, dad will freak out, and I thought, I don't think he will. So I told him in a football match, and I talked about that, and then that was the wrong time to tell. <laughs> and, uh, but he was very cool about it, so I told him on a Saturday, then I started talking about it on a Monday, and then people thought it was just funny, it was just a joke, so uh, then I started wearing a dress to say, no, it's really serious. Then they went, oh, right, so it's serious, but you look a mess. Then I was trying to get the look right. Then I came to America, so I came out in 92. By the time I got to America in 96, um, I thought, I'll do this in one go. I'll turn up, wear makeup, and do stand-up. But then people said, oh, it's a drag stand-up thing. What it is all about wearing makeup and doing comedy. And I thought, no, the comedy is the comedy. I just happen to be wearing makeup. So once establishing it, I realized it was fused together in American minds. And, in, and so I started to try and unfuse it to put it back to this comedy. And I happened to be a transvestite. And also to getting good roles like in Treasure Island or The Riches or uh, even in <laughs> Knocking Bird Lane. Um, one called Lost Christmas that you haven't seen yet, which I think is really beautiful, that um, you won't get them if you go around wearing makeup all the time because they say he just has to play transvestites. So I'm being very strategic about it. Uh, the nails I'm really pleased with because it, I can seem to be boyish and, and that just says a lot, but in a quiet way, people go, oh my god, they, they don't even see it, then they suddenly see it. And um, so that is why. Um, next to it might be more girly, might be half boyish, might girl mode, boy mode, I might sw switch in between, but it's, um, I am a transvestite and that's just it. <laughs> There's a short answer. Quite a long answer. <laughs> Any other questions? That's it, thank you, good night. Okay.